Mastering Supply Chain Coordination Organizations obsess over KPIs to outshine their supply chain shortcomings. Why do organizations utilize specific key performance indicators, KPIs, to assess supply chain performance, and how are these metrics systematically monitored, analyzed, and transparently reported to ensure operational excellence across the entire supply chain? Organizations utilize specific key performance indicators, KPIs, to assess supply chain performance because they provide a quantifiable measure of the efficiency, effectiveness, and quality of their supply chain operations. These metrics are essential in evaluating the performance of the supply chain, identifying areas for improvement, and making data-driven decisions to optimize operations. The most common KPIs used to measure supply chain performance include 1. On time, in full, OTIF, measures the percentage of orders that are delivered on time and in full. 2. Supply chain cycle time, measures the total time it takes for a product to move through the supply chain, from raw material sourcing to delivery to the customer. 3. Fill rate, measures the percentage of customer orders that are fulfilled from existing inventory. 4. Inventory turnover, measures the number of times inventory sells and replaces itself within a given period. 5. Lead time, measures the time it takes for a product to move from one stage of the supply chain to the next. To ensure operational excellence across the entire supply chain, organizations systematically monitor, analyze, and transparently report KPIs through a structured process. 1. Data collection. Relevant data is collected from various sources, including enterprise resource planning, ERP, systems, transportation management systems, TMS, and warehouse management systems, WMS. 2. Data analysis. The collected data is analyzed using statistical methods and data analytics tools to identify trends, patterns, and areas for improvement. 3. Performance benchmarking. The analyzed data is compared to industry benchmarks, internal historical data, and competitor data to assess performance and identify opportunities for improvement. 4. Root cause analysis. When deviations from target performance are identified, a root cause analysis is performed to identify the underlying causes and implement corrective actions. 5. Scorecard reporting. A scorecard is used to present KPI data in a clear, concise, and visually appealing format, enabling stakeholders to quickly understand supply chain performance. 6. Stakeholder communication. Performance data is shared transparently with various stakeholders, including suppliers, manufacturers, logistics providers, and customers, to ensure alignment and collaboration across the supply chain. 7. Continuous improvement. The analyzed data and performance metrics are used to identify areas for improvement, and corrective actions are implemented to optimize supply chain operations. 8. Audit and compliance. Regular audits are conducted to ensure that KPIs are accurately reported, and compliance with regulatory requirements is maintained. 9. Training and development. Supply chain professionals undergo training and development programs to enhance their skills and knowledge in using KPIs to drive operational excellence. 10. Technology enablement. Organizations leverage technology, such as business intelligence tools, data analytics platforms, and supply chain visibility solutions, to support the monitoring, analysis, and reporting of KPIs. By following this structured process, organizations can ensure that KPIs are systematically monitored, analyzed, and transparently reported, enabling them to achieve operational excellence across the entire supply chain.